Okay guys and welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd uh, muddle a video together talking about the possible loss or depreciation on Chinese bikes and the reason I'm doing this I've watched a video today from a guy who's saying that uh, if you buy a Chinese bike you're going to lose a fortune and is Triumph Tiger Pro 900 after two years has only lost 2,000 euros and a Chinese bike will lose you over the same period five or six thousand euros. <clears throat> now guys if you can see the screen in front I'm doing a screen grab so you'll have to bear with me it's my, not my usual uh, mode of doing a video but the screen grab in front of us and we can see the base price at the bottom of the screen of 17,200 all but five euros or so. So 17,200 for the base Triumph 900 Rally Pro. This is without any extras on this, it's a base model. So if you put the Expedition kit on it, you're, you're jumping up another 2,000. And we can go through all the other options. I could go next, 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 so we could add all the extra packs and all the rest of it. And it, it'll bump it way up to 20 grand or whatever. But let's just go off the base price of 17,200. This is a brand new bike. So what we're going to do, we're going to compare in this video for all you guys who are looking at the Vosges 900 DSX and thinking... If I buy it in six months or 12 months time, how much am I going to lose? Well, this video is obviously going to give you some peace of mind and obviously show you what's happening here in Spain. I would imagine it's going to be the same process in the UK. There's a vast waiting list for these bikes. So we'll go, we'll start off at 17,200. Forget all the extras, forget the packs, forget the boxes, all the rest of it. And we'll move to a second hand buying site here in Spain called Wallapop. Now Wallapop is available in all the Iberian Peninsula, it's available all over Europe actually and in the UK. So if you want to buy anything, sell anything free, use uh, Wallapop and have a look at it, there's, everything's on there. So what you'll notice at the, the top, top of the screen we're looking at is there's a Triumph Tiger there for 11,500, now that's a couple of years old. But specifically you can see in the title at the top of the page, I'm looking at Triumph 900 Rally Pro from 2024. Because what I want to do is do a likewise comparison to what the probability will be of the price of my Vosges 900 DSX now it's six months old so if I was to sell it now what am I expected to lose on it after six months so we've got one here we've refreshed the page so we've got Triumph 900 Rally Pro 2024 so we click on the top one now this is in a dealership now we've got a 2024 it's done under a thousand kilometers and the price is 13,990. And we just looked at the new price of this bike, 17,200. So we've got one less than a year old that's only done, it's not even running, it's done 971 kilometers. This is in a dealership, guys. So if you were to put this bike of yours, at the same bike back into the dealership, he wants to sell this and make a profit. He's gonna give you 12 grand if you're lucky or 11 for your 17 grand bike that's a loss of six grand or more in less than a year six seven months right so we'll go back and what i'll do i'll show you comparisons so say there's a great deal of comments about the Vosges of the 900 bmw engine in and it's got all the bells and whistles so we've got to remember that this is fully loaded the Vosges 900 is fully loaded and what I would say to you now is, say you pay here in Spain 8,888 euros for your fully loaded Vosges. So it's under nine grand for a fully loaded bike with all the bells and whistles, comparable to uh, an F850 GS. It's going to be half the price or even less than half the price. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll go over and have a, we'll have a look at some BMWs. So we'll take this out and we'll go BMW. F850 GS 2024. Now the reason I'm choosing the 850 GS over the 900 GS is the 900 GS has not been out as long as the Vosges. So I want to do a likewise comparison. So we'll go the 2024 GS. Now you can see there's a very nice one at the top of the screen there. 15,600. Um, we'll click on that one. Let's have a look at that one. Let's see if it's fully loaded. Now this has got everything on it guys, it's got the comfort pack, it's got an enduro pack, touring pack, it's got everything you can throw at this bike. So we're looking at 15,600, this bike here in Spain with everything thrown at it is 21, 22,000 euros. So this bike, again being sold from a main dealer, what's it done? It's done 700 kilometres guys, 
you've still got a 24 month guarantee fully loaded and you're going to be saving five maybe six thousand euros on this bike after a mere few months of ownership now let's put the elephant in the room to bed let's go to the Vosges and see what that's done after six months so we've got Vosges 900 DSX and oops sorry guys uh, my bad Vosges 900 DSX and what we want to do we want to go to the bike categories only so all categories motorcycle right okay apply filters and we'll start at the top of the screen so you can see straight away I just told you they're 8,888 euros in Spain 9,192 9,192 8,888 euros reserved now here we go guys reserved 10,000 euros let's have a look at this one this is reserved someone's buying this so we've got a 900 DSX with 1,550 kilometers on okay it's only two months old but it's still second hand and he wants 10 grand for it let's go back let's try and find one a cheaper one uh, 8,700 okay that's slightly under the new price uh, let's see what he's done he's done 2,000 kilometers on it and he wants pretty much the base price bear in mind the base price of 8,888 euros includes 21 percent ITV which is M is VAT in the UK sorry getting a bit confused there so there's 21 percent VAT within that 8,888 price so effectively he wants more for his bike second down than it was new Here's a new uh, cheap one here, 8,500. 8,500. Vos 900 DSX from April. So mine's from April as well. He's done 9,600 kilometres. I've done nearly 4,000 on mine. It's nearly new. Uh, let's have a look. Same colour as mine. Same bike as mine. He wants 8,500 after six months of ownership. Bearing in mind, we've just looked at a BMW after six months. It's lost five or 6,000. We've looked at a Triumph that's lost four or 5,000. And we're now looking at the same bike as mine after six months. That the asking whether he's going to get the price, I don't know. But looking at the one we've just seen, 10,000 reserved, he w may well do. I don't know how long he's had this uh, up for sale. But you can see the asking price of these bikes, guys. Yeah, another one. There you go, reserved again. Someone's buying this one. Let's see what it's done. Uh, again, from April 2024, with 7,966 kilometres, in perfect condition, with all the revisions, uh, guarantee until 25th of April 2029, because they come with a five-year guarantee here. Uh, this guy's including the transfer in the price. And he's asking 8,500. So basically, he's asking more than he paid for it because he tw paid 21% VAT. He's, you know, okay, it's a dealership. So looking at this, he's quite right to add the VAT back in. But it's pretty much the same price. It's lost, what's it lost? 300 euros in six months. 300 euros, five grand for a BMW, five grand for your Triumph. I don't think we need to go any further with this video than we've gone, guys. Hit me up in the comments, leave comments, debate me if you want to. Please be civil, please leave civil comments. Any uncivil comments, I'll just delete them. But I'm not trying to twist anyone's arm here, I'm just stating facts. My Vosges 900 DSX, if I keep it for five years and I run it into the ground and someone offers me two and a half grand for it, I'll have lost 6,000 euros on it. The bikes we're looking at on this page are only six months old, so less than a year old. They've lost that already. So the chances of my bike being worth worth less than, I don't know, say five grand in four years' time, are very, very remote, guys. These bikes, you cannot get them. They're coming in as fast as they're coming in, they're selling out. It's the same in the UK. You're not going to lose any money. If you want to keep this bike for two years, you're going to lose very, very little on it, guys. It's not going to lose what, a KTM, a Ducati, a BMW or a Triumph going to lose. Anyway, guys, I've waffled on far enough. It's just to reiterate what I've told you about these bikes. They're superb bikes. They ride super well. OK, you might have to need put a flasher new map update to it to get the best out of it. And OK, when it comes round to your MOT or the ITV area in four years time, we might have to flash the, the official 
version back on to get it through the emissions test and then flash it back to a 4.4 i don't know everybody mods the bikes everybody tunes the bikes it's not a major problem so guys give me a like give me a thumbs up leave comments and i'll catch you in the next one peace out ride safe guys